Good morning. Calico kitty cat is staring outside. Trying to figure out a way to get outside and frolic in the snow, chase some birds. She's got two windows to pick from and she's just having some fun, isn't she? Two old desk chairs to sit on. What a life this kitty cat has. Here we go for lunch. Some Jimmy John's, freaky fast. A little ham and cheese with some turkey, some lettuce. Teddy got a uh, cheese ham and some ranch. Of course, barbecue chips. So, this is lunch. Also, the first thing I've eaten today. No other crap in the body. So, let's have some Jimmy John's for lunch. That'd be great. It's always a good go to. Quick, you place the order, and before you get there, it's already ready. So, it's awesome. Good afternoon. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, January 26th. I don't think I've had a chance to say hello yet today. Uh, it is 26 degrees outside, really, really chilly, really, really uh, windy. Some of the roads are starting to get a little bit of the um, drifting going on, but other than that, everything's fine. Our trash was picked up, the mail's been delivered. We actually had our pest control guys here to spray around the outside of the house, which was amazing that they did that in the cold um sleet snow sorry put my thumb in front of the cameras we're switching hands uh hopefully you have enjoyed some of the last few days uh yesterday was a snow day so it was fun to get outside uh get the kids sledding doing some stuff like that and then the home show was fun the er beginning of the week as well so i'm going to try to get out and do more hopefully so we're not just hey home vlog home vlog home vlog i know those can get repetitive um but uh, I do still work. I do have a full-time job. Um, and uh, we still are, you know, doing all the fun family stuff. So, Jimmy John's for lunch. I'm going to have a banana as a snack. Trying to continue to eat healthy. This is day four of not eating crappy stuff for breakfast. Not eating all day. Um, like I said last night, I didn't even actually eat my whole meal, which is fantastic. That's the goal is I ate so much and snacked so often. I just got to stop. Just got to stop. Cold turkey. Let's... To try to stop eating as much and try to get in shape for spring. So uh, I'm going to continue our day. The kitty's sitting by the window, wants to look outside, so I may open the door and let her take a peek outside. But it's freezing cold. Um, getting ready to start the kids' pickup in an hour. I don't know what we're going to do for dinner tonight. Uh, so we're going to continue to have a nice, good, busy day. Hopefully, you're having a great Thursday. And um, yeah, let me know if there's anything, especially you people in the Midwest, let me know if there's anything I need to go check out. I, I know that our uh, friend Larry from Bristol had a ton of great comment uh, of uh, a comment with a ton of great ideas. So we're going to hopefully continue to look at those and hopefully do some of those as we're getting into the spring and warm months. Um, I would like to get to a couple of our local theme parks, not local like here in the town, but a couple hours away. I'd love to get to those. My problem is I don't ride roller coasters. I'm scared to death of heights. And the minute we walk into Kings Island, there's about half the rides that I just mark off because I don't want to ride them. So uh, would it be interesting for us to kind of walk around and show you the rides and show you the merchandise and show you the food? Let me know. We can definitely do that. Um, that's what some of the vloggers do down at Disney. Opening blinds here. Um, I'm going to turn you around real quick. Look. Hey, get out of there. But there's the kitty just hanging out by the window. Anyway, uh, that's what a lot. Uh, that's what a couple of the vloggers do down at Disney is they don't even ride rides. They just walk around, show you the rides, show you the um what's going on the food stuff like that if it is something like that that you would like to see here for some of the theme parks in the midwest let us know we'll uh we'll check into that so uh all right let's go have ourselves a banana let's have ourselves a thursday i hope you're eating healthy and getting in shape with us um not doing any real physical activity because it is so cold i do like to walk every single day but i've not done that um but hopefully we'll get into that as it gets warmer so uh, uh oh the cat's freaking out Hang on. what is it timmy not to me. Lassie, what is it, Lassie? Huh? What's going on out there? She was over there where I showed you and then is sprinting over here. I'm afraid to open the door because I think you will run outside. Oh, I'm going to do it anyway. Don't run outside. No. I'm going to open it, but you can't come out. Oh, it's leaves. Okay, get back, get back. All right, she was right there. She is jonesing to get after these leaves. Look at that tail. Man. 
She's so mad. What? What do you see? Here we are, 5.30. And it's like 24 degrees now. Still snowy, creppy. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. Can you feel how cold that is? It's so cold out. Winter's here. Winter is coming and winter's here. Yikes. Look at these things that we got. They're cheese wraps, marble jack. Instead of like a real wrap or piece of bread, you use this cheese. So I'm gonna use a couple of these with some honey roasted turkey breast and some lettuce and see how they are. They look pretty good. This one in the old uh, thing looks good, except the tomatoes and they got like chicken and stuff. So we'll see. We'll see how they are. I just said we'll see four times. Well, that cheese is a little thin. So we doubled up, put a lot of stuff in there and it's gonna be pretty good. I hope. We're going back in the office because Heidi's got some work to do and I may play some video games. It is literally 30 degrees in the office, cooler than it is any part of the house. I would show Heidi because she's got her Harry Potter robe on, but I've got the kitty blanket on to keep me warm. It's so cold. Um, we had a make it yourself dinner. Heidi had a Totino's, pe to Totino's. Totino's pizza. I had my little cheese wrap thing and then we had some pasta left over and a couple oranges. So, and then took three bites of that chicken. It was left over. It wasn't great. Um, and then I had, we had some, well, tell me that. Uh, we had some unsalted or low salted, not that hard. Um, man, Philip is throwing. This thing just came barreling at my face. <laughs> Philip should be a baseball pitcher because he throws so hard. Anyway, um. Do you want to see how hard I can really throw? No. No, we don't want to see that. I just want to throw it that way. Let's see your form. <laughs> Woo! All right, anyway, we had dinner at home. Philip even had some chicken nuggets, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Luke had leftover chicken parmesan from Olive Garden, which brings me to this point. Did he eat the spaghetti too? He ate it all. <laughs> then we had this piece of chicken left over, some pasta left over, he ate it all. And breadsticks. We love, and a bunch of breadsticks. We love watching these vlogs, especially these people down in Florida, because number one, I'm jealous because they have nice warm weather and they're in Orlando and they can go to Universal or Disney or all these cool restaurants. They can do all this fun stuff. And we love to watch them. Some of them are daily vlogs. Some of them are a couple other, every other day. One of them that we watched went and did a full vlog at the Olive Garden. Now, us here in Indiana, we have the Olive Garden. There's an Olive Garden in every town. So it's like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna lie, we are watching it to see what they got. But it's like, man, I would love for these people that are at other places to- They said getting the Alfredo dipping sauce for the breadsticks was a secret. They're like, here's the secret. Get the Alfredo sauce to dip the breadsticks. I love watching their vlogs and I'm not going to say who it is because most people, a lot of people watch them and they're really, really popular and they make a lot of money. So they're doing something right. Maybe we need to start vlogging at the Olive Garden. But my point is, uh, I try to like the other day we went to that coffee place and I've never heard of that before. So I was like, Hey, here's the menu. So, you know, something interesting, but these chains that are worldwide or, you know, through the States, it's like, I'm not going to show you what we got from Wendy's. <laughs> You know a Wendy's. There's a Wendy's on every corner. If you want me to, how about this? Here's a typical vlog. Comment below if you want me to show you what we get at every single restaurant. We can. It's kind of fun. Philip is <laughs> Philip's playing soccer in the house, and he's... Okay. Oh, you missed it. He's playing soccer this uh, spring, so he's getting ready. Uh, I just went on a whole thing about watching people... Talk about going to <laughs> restaurants that are chain wide. And I, I remember earlier I told you what we got at Jimmy John's. So That's okay. we're going to show you more what we eat. How about that? We're going to show you all what we do. And I'm going to get the guts one of these days to take my camera, which is my phone, into one of the restaurants and record. So anyway, we're still watching somebody enjoy the black tie moose cake at Olive Garden. It looks... It would get buy it. If it was your birthday, you could buy it. Yeah. You would buy it anyway just because it was so good. And that thing was tasty. This doesn't look good to me because there's a lot of chocolate in it. But Yeah, you would like it. But it, man, it's good. I can't be the only one that doesn't like chocolate, right? Comment below if you don't like chocolate. You're the only one. 
So here's the uh, little stand I use for the GoPro sometimes, and then this is actually waterproof. <clears throat> I had this with the GoPro on it yesterday for the kids to use when they're sledding, but they didn't sled for more than 10 minutes and got soaking wet, so we didn't use it. So anyway, they've been laying out here, drying up after the snow. I had to this, the, use this for a few of the um, time-lapse shots that you saw on yesterday's video. So starting to pick up and forgot I had some uh, camera equipment out. So I gotta pick that up for sure. So yesterday, two days ago? Two days ago we got Texas Roadhouse to go. And if you've never been to Texas Roadhouse, they usually have, my glasses are falling out. They usually have like a big bin of, of peanuts. And you just kind of get a scoop, put them in a little uh, cardboard dish and go along your way. They also have it where you can throw the shells on the floor. Everybody's been to those steakhouses and those Texas steakhouse things where you do that. But look what they have now. They have it where you basically get a bag to go. So um, I walked in to get the order and they said, take some peanuts with you. So we've got a big bag of peanuts everybody's been snacking on. Uh, but a little bit different than what it was before COVID. I'm sure this is a COVID thing um, because... They literally had anybody go up with a scoop and put it in a thing and take it with them. And now, you got a little thing of peanuts, and this was full. So what a deal. It was awesome. So good job, Texas Roadhouse. This kitty cat is ready to get outside. She's been meowing and being patient. There's the door to the garage, and she wants to go out and play. Don't you? She's sitting very patiently waiting for laundry to get done. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? How much? How much? What are you doing there? Hey, where are you going? Gotta sniff the car. All right, Kitty's gonna run around in the garage for a few. We're going to go ahead and call it a day. Thursday's in the books. Tomorrow's Friday, the last Friday of January. The last Friday before the AFC and NFC Championship games, which are Sunday. Can't wait for those. Uh, so hopefully you have a good Friday. Hopefully off to a good weekend. It's going to be a busy Friday. Quite a few things to get done before the workday ends and uh, the weekend begins. So um, I don't know what we'll do. Maybe pizza. Pizza on a Friday night. Maybe. I don't know. We'll take. We'll, we'll show you what we get. I'm going to go chase the kitty down. She's back now sniffing around the back of the van. So thanks for being here. Talk to you tomorrow. Before we get to bed, we also... Finished the second season of Mike and Molly. If you've seen this show, um, season two is really, really good. Really, really good. It's really, really funny. Every episode, I think we are just laughing hysterically out loud. There's so much funny uh, funny jokes and one-liners and stuff like that. So we watched that, and then we went over to YouTube a little bit, uh, did some work, and um, that's really what we're watching. I used to watch in Forensic Files, so pray for me. Um... But, yeah, Mike and Molly is the show we're watching. So, we're going to watch more tomorrow. I uh, just wanted to drop that. We're through season two. There's only like five or six, I think. Also, I know it was from 2004 or whatever, way before that probably. I started watching Lost during the day. While I'm working, I always have something on. And I'm through like ten episodes or something. I love it. I know the end is awful. And I know people hated it, but... I like it. It's very, very entertaining. It's very, very interesting. It's very, uh, very fun. Um, I really, each episode, I really like it even more. So there's our TV uh, breakdown for you in case you were dying to know. But that's what we really did tonight. Stayed in, ate dinner in, didn't even go anywhere. It was so cold. It's still like 28 degrees. So stay warm. Have a good Friday. Talk to you later.